What is up you guys, it is Sam here, and today I'm going to teach you how to install Optifine for Minecraft 1.4.5 on your Mac. Here we go. Alright, so the first thing you are going to need to do is make sure you have seen my mod loader video. I will put a link to that around this video, or if you are on a mobile device, it is in the description below. So watch that first, and then after you're done, come back to this video. Don't worry, the link will open in a new tab. Now moving on, the first thing you need to do is you need to go into your web browser, in this case I'm using Safari, and run a Google search for Optifine. And then you're going to want to click the first result. And now as we scroll down right here, I highly recommend you click this one, which is Optifine HD D3 Ultra for Minecraft 1.4.5. Then you will click this link that says Mirror. Click that. It is going to take you to a website filled with ads that I shall censor for your um, enjoyment. And uh, the download request will actually appear right here. You're going to download that and it is going to open up more ads, unfortunately. All right, so the zip file actually goes into your downloads folder, but I just dragged it onto my desktop for my convenience. Now what you are going to do is go into your finder, go into library, go into application support, then scroll down to Minecraft, click bin, and then go to minecraft.jar, your minecraft.jar folder. Unzip the file, the Optifine file, and then drag all, file, all of the class files seen here into your minecraft.jar folder, just like that. Click apply to all and click replace. All right, so all files have been dragged in. Now let's open up Minecraft and let's log in. All right, so it appears that um, the installation was successful because we logged in successfully. So to see if Optifine worked, I'll make this full screen here, go to options and go to video settings. As you can see, all of these wonderful settings were added. You can change several quality features. You can change how things are animated. You can turn animations on or off. Um, you can actually, from in-game, change your texture packs, which I think is super convenient. And you can open up the Ligometer, which is a little bit slow, but it'll tell you whether you're experiencing lag or not. Also very convenient. And uh, lots of other great, great features to enhance your FPS and to make Minecraft better for you by giving you more graphic settings. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I am Sam, signing off.